yourself a nice deep breath. Let out a nice exhale. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Maybe take a nice little stretch. Then come back. 
So I hope you enjoy this little mini sound bath. Traditionally, if I was doing a full bath, I would spend a lot more time in each instrument. But for the sake of the video, so you're not spending an hour watching each video, I've kind of combined everything and made it much faster. So for those of you who want to stay, I'm going to explain to you all the instruments we had. So I started off with an ocean drum. This one is 12 inches. It's from Reno. And the inside, this is my little price ticket. Um, the inside is a beautiful picture of fish. It's a fish fabric. And being the 12 inch size, it's much smaller. Um, all of the ocean drums, they have different sounds. So depending on the type of beads that are in it, the type of plastic, the type of backing is going to give different sounds. And basically to play it, you're just going to really gently, slowly let the beads fall. You can just keep it in one steady motion or you can rock it back and forth. gentle we were at a sand bath once where it was hurricane gale force winds because she was just rocking this back and forth and we were like okay and that was not very relaxing so the key is to go really smooth slow and gentle so they come in 12 inches and 16 inches and I think even bigger different models different sounds I can always help you pick that out the next thing I had let me move back for a minute was the kindred spirit tongue drum now this is called the deep bass model is very deep in the bass very resonant it's this one is the b2 so that means the second octave b note it's in the hijaz scale starting on the b 14 inches and the nice thing about this is i'm not sure if you could see it in the video but when i was playing it it's patterns so I just go right across and across. Another great pattern on this one is just starting and going right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, up. So it's intuitively set up so you don't need to know how to play this to sound awesome. So just opposites, around, back and forth. On the bottom has a plug, so you can plug in a patch cord and hook it up to your computer with a small device so you can record. Uh, for shaker, I had this owl shaker, which is really nice. This is fair trade um, instruments. It's got the drum head. You can play it that way, you can shake it. Round this way. It's just so awesome, beautiful. It's all been wood engraved on the outside. These ones are handmade from Peru. Then we had the singing bowls. I had, this one is Koshi brand chime. This one is the fire or ignis. Um, it's not really the element, it's just they use the four elements as names for it. So this is based on a G chord. Very beautiful. It's a grounding tone. It just says like, I'm here. And this you just float away. Really, really pretty. So that was the Ignis or Fire Koshi Chime. And then the Crystal Singing Bowl. Oh, one other thing, I had a metal bowl here. So this metal bowl is bowl number 131, five and a half inches. It's an F sharp four. So it's the fourth octave F sharp. And I picked this to add an extra tone. So these bowls were a request from Caitlin. So she loved the low D3. She loved B3, A4, and G4. And she wanted me to add more bowls. So I already made one video for her that has, I think, nine or 10 crystal singing bowls. And then this one was a smaller set. So I gave her the G on here because then we've got D, E, F, G. Those are four notes of heart. 
and those four notes apart create beautiful deep grounding tones. itself and the D very opening expanding if we put these three notes together pure harmonic super wow is the high D, actually it's called the middle D, D4. So we have this giant sonic hug from this set right here. so much is awesome feeling. Then we have that A kind of leading us up and pulls us back down to the G. When I play the A and D together, you kind of feel how that opens you up. just the A. So I thought that was a nice way to add an extra tone without spending a lot of extra money. And then the fun little thing I added on is called a wah-wah tube. So it's a metal tube. Let me get, you can use different mouths. This is the one that comes with it. There's a hole on here. So when I just tap it, place my note, send that sound around. But if I put my thumb over this hole, and when I move it, when I play, I'm sending that sound around the room and it changes it even a little bit more. These come in three different notes, D, E, and F. So, and I just loved the tone of this one. And then for mallets, I had my favorite, just plain silicone. It's hollow, beautiful. 
It's a really nice, soft and quiet sound versus the suede ones that make this shh sound when you play. This one has the quartz crystalline glass handle and you hold that part and then you play with the silicone. They make the same sound, it's just a different feel in your hand. Feels really nice holding this. If you're a klutz like me and you drop it, it's going to break. So I prefer these so I don't break them because I already broke two this year. But if you're not a klutz, if you're someone who's really careful um, and you like to feel the energy, a lot of people who do Reiki like to keep this type of a handle because you can feel a bit more of the energy, the vibration going through. These are gorgeous as well. And then the other thing I highly recommend, this is something that we make ourselves here. Um, myself as a musician, when I was playing, sometimes when I tap, if I'm really into the groove and I'm not paying attention and I'm gonna lean over and I might hit the bowl too fast or too, it's, it's like, it's like, oh, I went too hard, okay? These allow me to play super, super soft. Gives me more control. I can relax as I'm playing. I'm not going to get that real quiet sound with those silicones unless I'm really concentrating. So this is something we make ourselves here. We call them bunny tails because they look like little bunny tails, but no bunnies have been harmed. They are actual fake fur. Um, so I highly recommend when you order your bowls, get two silicone wands, whether it's here or the crystal. We do have the rubber ball ones as well. I'm not a fan because when I lean over, the wood sometimes hits the side of the bowl because when I'm playing for myself, I play with my eyes closed all the time. I just like totally zen out. So, and then bunny tails. And I think that is everything. Um, if you would like me to create your custom set, send you a video, just let me know and I'd be happy to do that. And on that note, have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.